Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. Today we have a very nice exponential challenge on the board. How do we solve this math challenge? Besides, why are you so serious? Don't worry. Calm down, whatever the situation. Okay? Math will make us to be happy. Okay? All right. So how do we solve this math challenge here? The question is x all over 7, open bracket, bracket close, or to the power of x equal to 7 to the power of 7 or to the power of 2. How do we solve for the value of x here? Now, in this challenge, I'm going to use two methods. The first method is a bit lengthy. The second one is very short. If it is the second one you prefer, then drop it in the comment section. Just type in second method. If it is the first method you prefer, just type in the comment section first method. Okay, so if you knew yet, this is all I must TV where we roll out mathematics challenges, solution to Olympiad math challenges, other math um, competition exams, and all the rest that you will definitely like. So if you've not subscribed, do it to subscribe. And when you subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification button so that whenever we release an amazing video like this one you're about to watch now, then you get notified. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we're taking the first method. So first of all, let's take our solution. Solution. So we're taking first method. First method. All right. Now I'm going to use this exponent to open up everything I have inside the bracket. And so this is going to give us here x to the power of x all over 7 to the power of x. This is equal to, and this I'm going to write as 7 all to the power of your 7 to the power of 2. Okay? Now, what's the next thing we're going to do here? It is very easy. Look at this. I want to eliminate it. In other words, I want to multiply both sides of the equation by 7 to the power of x. And so if I multiply this expression here by 7 to the power of x, this 7 will leave the system. So I'm left with x to the power of x. This is equal to, I'm going to have yes, 7 to the power of 7 or to the power of 2 plus bracket times your 7 to the power of um, x here. Yeah. That has not changed anything, okay? Now, according to the law of indices, so long the basis are the same and we have a multiplication sign here, what do we do to the exponent? Let's add the exponent. And so we're going to come up with this expression as x to the power of x is equal to your 7 to the power of 7 or to the power of 2 plus x. Let's put this in bracket. Calm down. All right. So what do we do from this here? I'm going to take log to big 7 of this expression. So let's take log to big 7 on both sides. So we're going to have here log your x to the power of x b7 this is equal to leg your um, 7 to the power of 7 or to the power of 2 plus s close bracket or b7 i will learn this on to here okay now let's look at this again what do we do from here now according to the law of logarithm or the property of logarithm again this is an exponent this is an exponent. So what do we do to this exponent? We move this exponent to this side, and we also move the whole of this exponent to this side of the equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do that, we're going to come up with our x into log your b7 or to your x. We've succeeded in moving this x backward. So we have x left here equal to the whole of this, which is 7 to the power of 2, there plus x. Let's put this in bracket, there, log our 7. Now, let's look at this carefully. We are having log 7 be 7. And there's a law that says that log x base x will give us what? In other words, the log of any number base itself will give Okay, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. All right. All right. So from here, we are having 7 base 7. So what happened? This will give us 1. So we're going to have our x here, log x log x base 7 equal to, we have 7 to the power of 7 plus x. All right. So this 7 to the power of 2, this could give us here our x log our um, x b7 equal to your x plus 49. Good. So what do we do next here? Let's divide both sides by x to eliminate this x here. 
So let's divide this by x. We divide this by x. This this leaves the system. So we're left with log our x be seven equal to. We can rewrite this expression as x all over x then plus forty nine all over x. How we know that? Yes, of course. Here we give us one, right? So let's write this. So give us here log x be seven equal to one plus forty nine all over x okay so what we do here now let's look at this look at this again so all we just have to do here is easy yeah we've got to make some crazy substitution here so at this point let's see let's use something to represent our uh, x based on the base number we have here okay so from here we can say let um let x be equal to um seven y Okay, so if x is equal to 7y, what we do, wherever we see x, let's put 7y there. So automatically, we're going to have our expression here to be your 7y log 7y base 7 equal to, then you're going to have your 1 plus 49 all over um, 7y. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so what do we do again here? It is easy. We apply the product law of log reading this is seven times y so if we apply the product law of log reading i believe we all know the product law of log reading okay so let us not waste time on that so if we apply the product law we're going to have this to be log your seven be seven plus log your y be seven so this expression can be written in this form they are the same this is equal to one plus your 49 all of our seven y oh yes again if you look at this we are having seven log seven base seven which is automatically one so let's continue on this side again and see what this gives us all right so rewriting this expression we're going to have this to be one plus um what do we have here i have log seven base uh, sorry y please this is log y please so have y base seven equal to we have our one plus 49 all of our uh, seven y oh all right all right all right all right so now you now have here one you have here one so two of them will leave the system so we are left with our log y b7 equal to um 49 right all of our seven y all right so seven can go into this so seven here, one seven here, we have um, um seven, right? So we're going to come up with our log y b seven equal to seven all over y. Oh, are we gaining something here? Yes. So what we do next here? It is easy. Let's eliminate this y. So for us to eliminate this y, we multiply both sides by y, and so this will give us y log our y b seven. Okay, equal to your seven because this guy will leave the system again. If we work according to the law of log reading, we can move this wire to this part here, and so this will now give us log your y to the power of y be seven equal to seven. Ha! Ah, I will learn something here. Good at this point, what we do it is easy. We succumb to the relationship between indices and log reading because both of them they have a very strong relationship. And so, if we look at this, we can spot out that strong relationship. So, what does it mean? We can rewrite this in index form. That is to say, y to the power of y equal to seven, right? To the power of seven. Wow! We now have a very nice um, algebraic expression here. Now we are having y to the power of y equal to seven to the power of seven so what does that mean it means y is equal to seven and also y is equal to seven so we now have the idea for y is equal to seven now recall at the beginning we don't have y in our system so we now recall when we said let x be equal to seven y where is that where is that where is that let's spot it out look at it here so we have here x equals to 7y so let's get the value of our so let's continue on this side of the board now so we're now saying recall recall that we said 
let x be equal to um, 7y. And we solve our y to be 7 already. So we now have here, therefore, x is equal to 7 times 7. And 7 times 7 is equal to what? 49, right? We all know that from our elementary mathematics. So therefore, our x is equal to 49. Wow, this is cool. All right, now we're going to take the second method. Like I told you, this method actually um, took about eight to nine minutes to solve, right? But the other method would take us less than 60 seconds. All right, so let's take our second method. We we'll put down the question which is x all over seven r to the power of x equals to seven to the power of seven r to the power of two. What am I going to do here? We know that this could be written as bracket to be seven, the r to this power right good so let's multiply the exponent here and this exponent here by one all over seven so if we do that so we're going to have our x all over seven close bracket r to the power of x times one all over seven with this same to this other side which is bracket seven close bracket okay all right all to the power of 7 to the power of 2, let's put this in bracket, times 1 all over 7. Confusion? No. All right. Now, if we do this, we are going to have this time x all over 7. So we now have x all over 7, all raised to the power of x all over 7. Can you see the game playing out now? This is equal to, again, this we time this all over this. So we're not going to have here 7 all to the power of your 7 to the power of 2 all over 7. Now, what is 7 to the power of 2? That is 49. So we can write this, this side of the equation as 7 or raised to the power of what? 49 all over what? 7. 7 can go into 49. Our 7 to 49 will give us 7. So we cannot write everything as our x all over 7 all raised to the power of x all over 7 in bracket. This is equal to your 7 all raised to the power of 7. <laughs> you see the game now. All right. Like I told you, I said this second method will take less than 60 seconds. So we are having x all over 7 raised to x all over 7 equal to 7 to the power of 7. So it also means that this is equal to this, this is equal to this. So if we have it with so, then we're going to have here x all over 7 equal to 7. Easy. This is all over 1. So cross multiply. Therefore, our x is equal to 7 times 7, which is 49. Whew. Second method. You see that? So you discover that our first method, we have our x equal to 49, and second method, we have our x equal to 49. All right, for the benefit of that, let's do a simple check. So from here, let's check. Check. The question is um, x all of us 7, right? All raised to this. So where is our x? x is 49. So let's go ahead. It'll give us here 49 all of our 7 close bracket, or here yeah, raised to 49. This is equal to 7 to the power of 7 or to the power of 2. 7 can go into this, right? Good. So if 7 goes into this, this will give us 7. So we're going to have here 7, right? All raised to what? 49 equal to this guy is on its own. So 7 to the power of 2 will give us 49. So we have 7 all raised to the power of what? 49. So 7 to the power of 49 equal to 7 to the power of 49. Oh, so that proves that the root x equal to 49 satisfy the original equation. Like I said earlier off, if you prefer the first method, just type in the comment section first method. If it is the second method you prefer, drop it in the comment section. Just type in second method. <laughs> Remember, this is all I must TV. Am I not remix Jix anymore? Guess what? I love you so much. Every one of us at All I Must TV loves you dearly because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. Thank you once again for being there. Bye for now.